Welcome to 12 News at 4. I'm Lane Alter. I'm Jacob Albrocht. We began this afternoon with the breaking news from Kansas City at what was supposed to be a celebration of a Chiefs Super Bowl today that has turned uh, far worse into tragedy. Shots fired during that parade and rally at the very end of the celebration at Union Station. What we do know, you caught a live press briefing and we're welcoming in everybody now who's joining us on the KSCW. That one person is dead. Police say up to 10 to 15 people were shot and are injured. Those conditions we do not have. Uh, we have Team 12 coverage there. Our own Max Dutton was right near that scene when this happened. So Max, from a firsthand account, what do you know about what you heard, saw, and what can you tell us? And Jacob, our car was actually parked about 20 yards away from when this happened. We were sitting in the front seat. We heard a lot of gunshots, sometimes even sounds like fireworks for a lot of people. You kind of saw people scatter across. I want to set the scene, though, to show you what it was. Now, right where our car was, as soon as we heard those gunshots, we did get out of the car. We kind of walked down to see what was going on. People were scattered all over. Where the police presence are right now is where we did see one victim on the ground. We did see a gun by that victim as well. That victim was then carted off. Now, just about 15 minutes after that, we were getting ready to set up another live shot, and that's when a second batch of police started running inside Union Station. They then headed inside for to something else going on there. We were then moved back as media, and we've been here since then. Now, even about three o'clock after we were set up, we saw more people head police officers head west towards I-35 on the track that our photographer Rami is giving for you right now, kind of to where those police are currently. They were in that area for 15 to 20 minutes, still don't really know what they were doing over there, but that was kind of the scene we saw. A lot of people crying, scattered. At first, I think it did take a lot of people uh, moments to realize what it was. Like we said, some people have been describing it as fireworks, but it was a lot of gunshots very, very quickly and it happened. And I will say, seeing the police response it was a very fast response to uh, to the scene and now we also spoke with one man who was near the scene here's what he had to say on his account um, we're standing on this corner there's a gate right there we stand on this corner and the players have just left the stage and about in the corner or in the center of this whole corner um, that's we thought we thought someone threw like a fire we thought someone threw a firecracker cluster, and we just saw uh, people like like a circle just run from every direction. And once again, this did happen just on the west side of Union Station, as we as we mentioned there. Now we've had multiple different questions of kind of what happened after that. There's still a lot of questions left unanswered. We do know one person dead, 10 to 15 injured. That status on those injured still unknown at this time, Jacob. Max, I do want to ask you a follow-up question. So we heard uh, the police chief ask this, and we've seen these videos circulating on social media of fans tackling somebody, certainly looked like it was somebody running away from the police. I don't know where that was to where you are, but did you see anything like that as this was happening? Because that's one of the you know more widely spread things right now that we're seeing online. We can show you exactly where that happened. Now, I'm gonna have my photographer walk with me down here. You can kind of see where some of those news vans are. That's where that took place. When we got off the scene, we probably were in that area within about three to four minutes after we heard the gunshots ring out. And at that point, it was kind of a scattered mess, but we did see a lot of people kind of in that area on the ground. And uh, we actually had a woman come up to us and said they have someone down over there. That's what got us to kind of go down into that area. Um, and then after that, like we said, we were set up right where uh, one of the victims was lying down. Then they moved us again. That's when they ran back inside Union Station. So very active scene there. Right now, a lot of it uh, not as active, but like we said, there are hundreds of thousands of people here for this rally. And in just a matter of minutes, it looks like this. Jacob. All right, Max, thank you. We'll get back to Max later in the newscast. Right now, we also have Sean logging there in Kansas City. He was in a very different area as this is happening. Sean, what did you see? Yeah, Jacob, we are actually several uh, blocks away from Union Station, but this is the area where people were coming to get away from that situation. Definitely a startling way to end a day of celebration and jubilation for many people. Now, I was able to speak with several people that were coming this way uh, to get away from that situation. Uh, they tell me that they were just shocked and disappointed that this is something that had to happen. A college student who tells me that she was leaving with her friends when they heard the initial shots, at least five, they say. Now, it was there that she witnessed the police quickly moving into an area where her and her friends were near. And we 
saw the police push the barricade um, and start to sort of jump over the ledge, like kind of where um, the Union parking garage is. Um, right after the gunshots went off, we just heard like a ton of police sirens and that's when I kind of knew that they were gunshots and not fireworks or anything. Emery tells me something else that upset her was just there was a number of families at this event, so many of them had to scatter as well, which was difficult to imagine with young children. She also says that just with nearly a million people at this event, the shooting just defies reason. All right, thank you so much, Sean. Now, Haley Tucker is in the newsroom breaking down what we know about those who have been detained. So a lot of information coming in as these things happen now, especially with social media. Haley, what do we know so far? Yeah, Jacob Lane, so this is obviously a very fluid situation. We're learning more details by the minute about those who have been arrested. We just heard from the Kansas City Police Chief within the last 10 minutes. She says two people were quickly apprehended after those shots were fired. And here's a look at a video just into our newsroom from our partners in Topeka of one of those people. We do want to make it clear here so we don't know the circumstances of this arrest, but we do know again shortly after those shots were fired, two people were detained, including this man you see on your screens here. There was also video, like Jacob said earlier in the newscast, we are currently trying to get a hold of, of citizens tackling a potential suspect to the ground, then police arresting them as well. The police chief said in her news conference a couple minutes ago, there were 800 officers in the area where the shooting happened and those suspects were detained quickly. And we also wanted to share this with you Chiefs players who were celebrating up on the stage as the parade was wrapping up, tweeting their prayers tonight. Patrick Mahomes tweeting praying for Kansas City. Drew Tranquil also posting, please join me in prayer for all the victims in this heinous act. Pray that doctors and first responders would have steady hands and that all would experience full healing. And Donovan Smith posting praying for everyone today in Kansas City. Again, right now, we know at least two people have been detained in this mass shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs celebration today. Haley, thank you. Several top Kansas elected officials were at the rally. You saw the Kansas City mayor there speak right before we came on. Senator Roger Marshall also in attendance tweeting this afternoon that he was devastated and angered by the senseless act of violence that turned a day of celebration for the community into a complete tragedy. Governor Laura Kelly tweeting that she was evacuated and is safe and out of harm's way. And again, we've been told uh, that all the Chiefs players and coaches are safe as well. So here's what we know. One person is dead and anywhere from 10 to 15 people have also been shot this afternoon uh, in a mass shooting during the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory rally at Union Station. We do not know the circumstances of what led to the shooting, but we do know at least two people were taken into custody and fans, hundreds of thousands of them, were urged to exit the area as quickly as possible. Much more coverage of this situation coming for you here on 12 News. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back.